If you haven't watched this movie, then go ahead and do it right now. The mathematician and cryptographer who cracked the Nazi Enigma code during World War II, shortening the war at a stroke and potentially saving thousands of lives. Congratulations, man! But before we go deep into his intimate life, let's talk first about the mathematics behind his work. Firstly, Alan Turing designed something called Turing Machine, a virtual construct that could perform calculations and follow instructions. And by doing this, he started thinking about something called the halting problem, which can be stated as follows. Is there an algorithm that is able to tell if any other algorithm will eventually halt, aka stop, or simply run forever? For instance, imagine that you build a program that is designed to list all the even numbers smaller than 73. We know that after some time that program will stop because once it reaches number 72, there is nothing more to do. It's just back now. And yeah, in this case, such an algorithm would be kind of useless. But let me introduce you to the twin prime conjecture. This is a Millennium Prize problem, which means that anyone who solves it wins one half a million dollars. This conjecture states that there is an infinite number of twin primes, that is, prime numbers, that are separated by exactly two units, like 5 and 7, or 11 and 13. Having this said, Imagine that you build a program that is destined to list all the pairs of twin primes. Notice that if there was such an algorithm and the answer was yes, the program will eventually stop, then the twin prime conjecture would be false. Otherwise, it would be true because the program would run forever, which means that there is an infinite number of pairs of twin primes. Anyways, the twin prime conjecture would be solved. So why haven't you by now heard about some dude or madam who spent one million dollars on Rubik's cubes? Because Unfortunately, Turing proved that there is no algorithm that can tell whether any program will stop or not. My bad, man. Besides being a computer geek and a logician, Alan Turing also had some uh -uh for other sciences, such as biology. He even wrote an article about the emergence of spots and stripes in animals by using differential equations. And now, the fun facts. Fun fact number one. Alan Turing used to run, and he was as good as an Olympic level runner. Fun fact number two. Alan Turing embodied some values of the hippie movement. In fact, he was a bit of a peace and love person, and had he lived a few decades later, he would definitely have worn t-shirt and jeans, because at his time, while the other guys were dressing all, you know, suit and stuff, he didn't even wear a tie, and he beat his nails. He was like, F this. Fun fact number three. Even though homosexuality was seen as a crime in Great Britain at the time, Alan Turing did not hide the fact of being gay from his friends. After all, he had some balls. Just kidding! It's totally fine. Due to his sexual orientation, he had to take female hormones, namely estrogen, which made him grow breasts, like legit men boobs. Unfortunately, despite being a genius and helping the whole world and, you know, starting a whole new field called computer science, he was not always a happy man. He even committed suicide by consuming cyanide. Oh, and worse, the Queen of England only pardoned him for being gay 60 years after he died. Like. Squeeze me! Who the hell do you think you are, lady? Sigh. 
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm almost reaching 1,000 subscribers and that's a lot of people, dude. Also, I welcome you to comment in the comment sections about some other fun facts that you've heard about Alan Turing. I've also put in the description some links that I've used to inform myself for this video. Stay awesome and see you next week!